Sam Fisher is back, but as the E3 demo reveals, this is really a brand new hero. No longer associated with third echelon, Sam is on his own. That means improvised gadgets, like using a broken mirror instead of his old fiber optic cable, and no rules. No rules? Expect Sam to be incredibly brutal as he hunts down the truth about his daughter's murder. Sam won't have someone yapping in his ear telling him what to do either. He's on his own. Fortunately, Ubisoft's slick new projection technology highlights objectives in a unique way and even shows flashbacks in the middle of the gameplay. Stealth is no longer an obstacle that slows you down. Now it's actually a tool. In Conviction, Sam is a hunter, hiding in the shadows, stalking prey, and then executing them. This is possible thanks to Splinter Cell's new mark and execute gameplay. You can tag enemies, lights or objects, and with the press of a button, Sam whirls out of cover and takes them down. This plays out like most action sequences of 24, where Jack Bauer sizes up his targets and in the span of 3 seconds has killed them all. Of course, you can still manually aim your gun if you want, and more importantly, Sam now has a full range of hand-to-hand -hand combat moves. These moves are quick and merciless. You'll break arms, slam heads into walls, and toss guys through windows to make a quick exit. There are even special sections where you get to interrogate enemies. In these areas, you can go hog wild, throw a dude through a bathroom stall, or slam his head into a mirror, whatever it takes to get the information needed. When things get hot and heavy, Sam can run for cover. Your last known position appears as a white silhouette to enemies. This way, you know where they think Sam is, and you can use that to your advantage by flanking them. Splinter Cell Conviction maintains the traditions of the series, but comes at them from a whole new perspective. This is stealth, but of the kind found in an action movie. And yeah, it's pretty awesome.